start. Good afternoon, everyone. I, Panav Jain, welcome you all to the masterclass of the secrets of the game, chess. Since ancient India, it was played in various forms, be it Chaturanga or Ashtapada. It became a popular game all across the world by different names and different versions with the passage of time. Today, play that is played as a recreational game and a competitive sport. It helps one to concentrate, think logically, develop problem-solving skills, planning, patience, focus of thought, and self-discipline. It gives me great pleasure to welcome guest speaker and chess expert, Mr. Mohammad Minajul Haq, a fight arbiter and arena international master, the International Federation of Chess. So I request you to enlighten us with some important strategies and skills to play the game and guide us, especially the online game with time limitations. Thank you, Pana. And I thanks to all uh, all the sports department of Vidya uh, Vidya Niketan School. Um, my name is Minhas and uh, PDA Arbiter and PDA Instructor. Um, so, uh, you all are here, so I welcome you all. We are, okay, talking about the chess game. So, I'm playing chess uh, since 1999 and I have played the uh, state championship. National Championship, International Championship. Um, so it's my journey. Right now, uh, I'm working as a chess trainer. I'm active chess trainer from uh, 2011. And I have trained uh, many, many uh, students, uh, many state champions, uh, national players, international athletic players. You all have dream. OK. You all have passion uh, to achieve something in your life. Uh, you all like to play some sports. Chess is international sport, and uh, uh, you know, 200 uh, round one. I, 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 I have not exactly know, but 189 of, of countries play chess. Chess is a very popular game in all of, around the globe. Okay, after football game, you know. If you uh, ask anyone that should uh, what um, they know chess or not, so obviously they will understand. If you show them the uh, chess game, so they will uh, recognize this game. So you all are here to learn. Uh, so if you have any question, any doubt, please ask before starting. Anyone is, has any doubt, any question? Uh, so thank you, sir. That was uh, truly inspiring. We have members of our, we have members of our school chess team who are curious to know more about the game. And thankfully we have the opportunity to uh, have the opportunity today to learn from a true master of the game. First up, we have Aditya Shivam from class 10. Good afternoon, sir. Hi, good afternoon. So mental and physical fitness and alertness are equally important for chess players as in, as in all other sports. Could you please highlight any specific advice that children of our age group should follow to uh, be good chess players and regard and with regard to maintaining fitness? Thank you, sir. Yeah. In all sports, you know, fitness, mental fitness, and uh, uh, you know, physical fitness. Yes, it, it must. It's, it's necessary. Uh, you do exercise for your physical fitness. Um, you do meditation for your mental, you know, peace. And uh, uh, obviously, chess. A great player said also chess uh, is a meditation. Because you, uh, if you have seen two players playing chess, they sit quiet and play chess. It's just like meditation. It helps your uh, what? It helps you to concentrate when you um, when you play chess. Focus. It increases focus, and uh, uh, when you when you play chess, you you start calculating, thinking the right way. Okay, it improves your 
thinking and uh, decision making sense but as you know ki jaise aapko pata hai sabko ki ek swasth sharir mein hi swasth mastak ka nivas hota hai to iske liye you know aapko meditations karni chahiye and you can choose your favorite activity like you can do um, any other activity which you like so i suggest you should choose both the activities one physical activity and one mental activity game chess is the best game you can choose so to be to be fit you should uh, do uh, what yoga exercise whatever you you like eat healthy okay take uh, uh, yes you should take healthy food like protein and and uh, uh, good food food supplement you should take nutrients for for good nutrients uh, dry fruits uh, nuts berries you should be yes it's not physically very physically involved game you don't have to be very physically involved is but it requires because when you sit for you know 3 uh, hours 4 hours for one game you should be physically fit thank you so much sir anyone sir uh, sir i wanted to ask that if i want to continue chess after 12 how should i proceed as there would be a gap in between of 2 years yeah you can proceed you should start with learning end game like if you already know the chess game you can start learning from the end game you know end game um, as the soul of the game because when you learn from the less pieces like when you start learning uh, with pawn end game queen end game okay rook end game these are the common end games which you should which you can start calculating through so i don't think um, there will be problem you can start learning end game and then gradually you can uh, uh, again take your rhythm thank you sir sir next up we have abhirup from class 12 so uh, good good afternoon sir yeah, so, afternoon. so i have a question that for example like how much time do you like give to it every aspect of the game like in end game you said that how much time do you give to a percentage like if you like for example if uh you you give this much time for opening this much time for end game this much time for uh middle game so how do you prefer like in percentage how much should i do in per per aspect so uh so could you tell me you mean time control game you know there there are three uh, time control game uh, as per fide uh, laws and, and championship organized fide organized championship in three format of chess blitz rapid and classical blitz is minimum 5 minutes maximum 10 minutes time duration game okay rapid is minimum 10 minutes and 1 hour time duration game and classical game that means standard game is minimum 1 hour and maximum 4 hour session game i suggest if you are a new player so you should play classical more often okay or rapid but for fun if you want to try you can play blitz game 5 minutes game 3 minutes game so you know quick finish and uh, win the game quickly it's up to you but i advise if you are a new player you should you must study first end game okay and opening rules general rules like uh, uh, in chess there six golden rules there are what we do or what we don't i want to share my screen uh, so can i share my screen Uh, host. Uh, yes, sir. Make you allow me to host. share my screen okay. so that I can share my screen with my kid to kids so that they can see. 
Yes, sir. Now you are the host. You can share your screen. Thank you. So first, I would like to share with you this chess board. Okay. This is how we set up the chess board. When you're going to set up the chess board, chess is a two players game, you know. When uh, you are white, you sit here and the other player will sit just face to face in front of you. And uh, one thing you, you should know that if you're going to set up the chess board, you're a right hand side corner it must be a light square like you can see here if i'm white i'm sitting um, front of you so this is my light square and it's a this is the right hand side of the corner and it's a light square if you are black you're sitting next to me so this light square this is the light square so when you're going to set up the chessboard you should remember this as you know, there are 16 chess pieces one player has. Other has also 16. So total 16 and 16, 32 pieces there are. Okay. So a chess board in various shape uh, or various um, metals, some you, you, you will see a metal chess board, glass chess board. Okay. And uh, normal uh, rubber chess board. Um, Pieces are made by hard plastic or wooden, sometimes glass. So they are various chess board. But a chess board has 64 squares. And the square of chess board is also, the shape of chess board is also square. So total, uh, if, you, if you count in a mathematical term, there are 204 squares. See, this is called light square and this is called dark square. See, this is called dark square. This is called light square. Total there are, okay, 64 squares, 32 light and 32 dark. And if you just merge this four square and see, this is also, it becomes also uh, one square. And the shape of this chessboard is also square. So if you count, okay. There's two zero four squares. Got it? Okay. Now come to the your question. Uh, your question. What was? You, can you repeat your question, please? So I was telling, sir, like while preparing for a chess game, like any like for a competition. So, so how do you like manage like your timing in every aspect? Like in opening, how much time should I give? In end game, how much time should I give to prepare, and how much time should I give to middle game? So that was my question. It depends, you know. It depends. Uh, first, in opening, you need to do three things. Like, what are the things you need to do? Center control. So to center control, you can start with the king pawn opening and the queen pawn opening okay you can start with the king pawn opening this is opening king pawn opening uh, is the most popular opening move in the world so these moves uh, are very popular and uh, it is the most played opening you can say in the world most of the chess players good players or grandmasters i'm talking about they prefer to start with king pawn opening or second preferred opening is queen pawn opening this is queen pawn opening there are two main opening groups king pawn opening and queen pawn opening okay so three things you do in opening center control you can start development of your minor pieces minor pieces are knight and bishop you can start development of your minor pieces and castling is also very important done my opening has done I need to only take out these two pieces. I can take out like this. And after that, as you know, bishop cannot jump out. So I need to open up the way of my bishop to take out my bishop. Next, it is black's turn. So when black will play this move, I can take out my bishop here or here. That's it. That's it. So three things, if you know in opening, you can save your time. Like 
if you know center control that means you need to place your pawn one of your king pawn or queen pawn to the center center is this this four squares are prominent squares of the chess board as i said there are 64 squares because before explaining the time control game i have to explain this game first of all okay so as you know there are 64 squares and these four middle squares are called the center of the board central squares so my teacher used to say if you control the middle you can control the game and that's what we do in opening we first start with king pawn opening then we start a development of our pieces you know the movement of chess pieces okay i'll come to that if you don't know and this way i complete my opening and i can go for middle game i can play here now middle game so you can save time if you know the three rules center control development of pieces and castling okay if you know these three things that's fine uh, ma'am shall i add badri vinayak mishra okay is that right? yeah in middle game you know what to do you look for the opportunity you wait for your opponent mistake because chess is a chess is a game uh of two players and uh, when one player make mistake you can take advantage that's what you can wait for you cannot force anyone to make mistake okay so in opening you can save time if you know the rules three things if you know okay and in middle game when you look for opportunity sometimes uh, you just wait and watch you wait uh, uh, you just wait for your opponent mistake when your opponent make mistake you take advantage and when you take advantage like if you grab your opponent one pawn you increase your 10% winning chances because you know one pawn has how many point you all know the value of chess pieces like this is pawn if, if you see here this is a pawn and pawn has one point right so if you grab your opponent one pawn you increase 10% winning chances if you capture your opponent knight or opponent bishop you increase 30% winning chances 30% when you capture your opponent rook it has 5 points rook has 5 you increase 50% winning chances and when you capture your opponent queen you increase 90% winning chances and obviously when you checkmate your opponent king we don't say kill we don't say capture the king we say it's special word checkmate checkmate means when you are attacking the opponent king when you are uh, okay threatening to kill the opponent king and your opponent has no escape from the check that means the game is over so when you checkmate your opponent king 100% game is yours this is what chess this is a very short game also you can win in just two moves also have you seen two moves checkmate anyone in two moves we can win like in 10 seconds also we can finish the game and it can be up to 4 hours it depends on your opponent and it depends on your preparation if you're prepared if you're good uh, prepared uh, uh, about opening okay middle game and end game you can take less time but if you're not prepared you will take as much time you will be confused and also it's practice game practice okay every in every sport you know practice is important uh chess as i said it's an international sport and uh um you can play for your school team you can play for your uh, state you can play for your national championship in we start championship uh in under 7 level there there is under 7 under 9 under 11 under 13 under 15 under 17 under 19 under uh, and then under 25 we organize chess championship that means we select four two or four kids to represent the state so kids who start early like i teach five year kids i teach four years kid also i teach them 
the basic chess concept and uh, yes you know kids are very good observer they are very fast learner they quickly um, understand the game for understanding them we try to uh, uh, what make them interested we uh, encourage them we make them laugh we make them what um, interested to learn this game because learning you know can be happen when you like anything liking is very important okay so we train those kids and they have good opportunity like they can qualify for state under 7 then under they can play for uh, their national under 7 they have if it, they don't uh, get qualified they have chance in under 9 they can try if they don't qualify under 9 they they have chance they have age they have age they can try for under 11 national championship okay kids have lot of opportunity but it's open for all i say it's open for all we all can learn and we all can uh, play this game not for you know uh, not for our you know mm, career not as a career option we can take as we can take as a hobby and you will be different to others if you if you choose a, a game which has no age bar nothing i have seen 4000 5000 people playing under one roof under one uh, you know in in a hall we have organized such events like you heard about delhi chess uh, international event in january we organize okay many different country players also they come and in you cannot see in any other game, sport that much crowd 4000 5000 player they play one time and they and they play in a silent you know pin drop silent um, way so it's all up to your uh, preparation and practice since when you are learning this game if you are matured enough if you are like 13 14 15 16 uh, you can still start and you will learn faster than kid because kids have less maturity level than us you are very much mature you know so you can learn faster but kids have more opportunity to uh, take it as a career option they can play national international world championship okay uh, fide you know about fide fide is world chess federation fide means federation of international chess this is a french word it means chess so in other word we say uh, federation of international chess so fide organize chess uh, championship world chess championship in under under 8 under 10 and under just in even number like a state championship organized in odd number 7 9 and national championship okay uh, organized in even number because one year it takes for kids to uh, what like ek event hota hai and state ka uske baad thoda sa time gap ho jata hai to bachcho ko itna age ho jata hai to wo under 8 ke liye जब क्वालिफाई करते हैं किसी इंटरनेशनल इवेंट के लिए तो दे कैन प्ले दैट्स व्हाई एनी अदर एनी अदर क्वेश्चन सो वी हैव अ क्वेश्चन आंसर राउंड आल्सो एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन इन बिटवीन द चेस कांसेप्ट बेसिक चेस कांसेप्ट यस सर नाउ वी हैव पार्थ फ्रॉम क्लास 10 यस पार ऑनलाइन चेस इवेंट्स Uh, very popular and uh, uh, online chess tournaments being very popular and this website is very popular lhs.org so if i take a reference of this website book he has they, they have database so if i click here you can see most of the players they choose to play after e4 this move and then this move 
Okay. So e4, e5, king's pawn game, e4, c5, Sicilian defense. So these two moves are very strong moves with players consider. Okay. To all top chess players I'm talking about. And you, we all can prefer. I like personally me if I talk about I I go with this move, c5, Sicilian defense. Okay. And then after we have option, we can choose the French defense opening. Against e4, we can play e6, French defense opening. We can play e6. This is Karo can defense opening. If your opponent is playing queen pawn opening, okay, this is queen pawn opening, d4. You can choose this variation. This is Indian game, d4, and then you can take out this knight here, or you can play this move, d5. These two openings you must prepare, but it's up to your style also. If you don't want to choose this very popular line, if you want to choose side line, okay, you can start with this also. But you can uh, see the uh, you know winning percentage. Okay, 38% in 38% you see here it's showing white player wins in 33% game draw. In 29% black wins if you choose this opening. D4 knight f6, you can see the percentage. Okay. And popularity. So before choosing any opening, you have to be prepared. If you are if you're going to play against d4 knight f6 or pawn d5, yeah, you can uh, you can uh, take help of your coach, your senior player, or you can take help help of this software but i suggest you know a human being can better better motivate you or guide you uh, whatever you, you have option to learn online through these websites through soft chess program you know these days a uh, chess program a very chess software program uh, in mobile phone also you can use and you can learn but still, if you have a mentor, then you can better practice or you can better uh, share your thoughts, uh, ask doubts and learn better. So my answer is you can choose the main opening lines. You can learn main opening lines. And still, if you want to prepare your own favorite game, you can. You can. But before playing any opening, you should you must prepare. And if you are in habit of playing any opening and you're going for tournament, my suggestion is you should go. Whatever uh, it's wrong opening you, you have been playing a right opening, you should not change. You should not experiment any new move in a tournament. You should go with the same uh, uh, okay, your natural game with the same your natural game, whatever you were being played. Okay, since uh, what till now, whatever up joke, he'll do, palace, you use case at up job. Licking up to standard openings, Joe Manavatai, uh, popular line say, us to be preparation karna chahiye or ek do openings up to ani chahiye good you know uh, when i'm talk uh, if we talk about grandmasters they know lot of openings unko bahut sare openings yaad rehte hain opening lines ko wo rat lete hain they memorize the lines 10 15 moves ko pure wo unke alag alag variations ko bhi wo log yaad kar lete because they're professional but if you're not professional uh, if you want to go with one opening you should prepare one opening and play अब जितना खेलोगे उतनी प्रैक्टिस करोगे उतने आपको डाउट्स आएंगे और आप सीखते चले जाओगे स्टिल इफ यू डोंट नो एनीथिंग ओके माय सजेशन इज यू फोकस ऑन योर नेक्स्ट मूव मेक योर नेक्स्ट मूव योर बेस्ट मूव बस आप अपने नेक्स्ट मूव पे फोकस कर दो आपको कुछ नहीं आता ओपनिंग लाइन आपको कोई याद नहीं है ओपनिंग नेक्स्ट मूव को ही बेस्ट फोकस करके खेलोगे ना 
तो मुझे नहीं लगता कि कोई भी प्लेयर आपको आसानी से हरा देगा क्योंकि चेस को मैंने बताया कि आप अपनी ही गलती से हारते हो ये सामने वाले की मिस्टेक से ही आप जीत सकते हो आई होप आई डन माई आंसर स्टिल यू हैव एनी डाउट नो थैंक यू सर All right. So uh, I want to I want to share my screen with you. So as you can see here, there are uh, 16 pieces. One player has 16. Other players have 16. Total 32 pieces. Chess is a board game. Okay. Chess is a board game, and uh, yes, it's a mental exercise in game. Uh, chess is a gymnasium of the brain. one grandmaster and world champion um he said yeah alexander alekhine he said chess is everything chess is everything art science and sports uh not alekhine sorry karpo karpo world champion he said art you have to be it is you you have to think like an artist okay experiment some new moves like science okay and obviously it's a sport because when you play this game uh, and there's a time pressure anyone has seen clock chess clock jab wo chalti rehti hai to aapke brain mein tick 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 nowadays aap log agar chess khelte hoge online to wahan pe bhi time fix rehta hai 5 minutes game jaise maine bataya time wal slot hote hai 5 minutes ab aapke us 5 minutes ek time mil gaya aur 5 minutes ke andar aapko puri game finish karni hai तो आपके दिमाग में चलता रहता है और आप समटाइम बहुत ज्यादा वो हो जाते हैं मतलब आपको प्रेशर होने लगता है लाइक हार्ट बीट तेज हो जाता है आपको ऐसा लगता है बहुत फाइव किलोमीटर आप दौड़ के आ रहे हो ऐसा भी हो जाता है अगर आप लोगों ने टाइम प्रेशर में गेम गेम खेला होके टाइम गेम file rank some basic things you should know like file what is file the straight line of squares it's called file a file this is b file c file d e f g h there are eight files how many files there are how many of you know this file rank diagonal how many of you know file rank you know okay okay and the slant line of square is called diagonal so slant line is diagonal straight line is called file sleeping line is called rand if you talk about like we all have different different name okay and chess board has 64 squares and like if you talk about this square this is a1 this is a2 square A three square. This is A four. Why? Because this is A five and this is fourth rank. So the square name is A four. Square name is A five. Square name is A six, A seven, A eight. What is the name of this square? Can anyone tell? E four. What is the name of this square? E five. E five. Um, for now, what is the name of this square? Sir, H seven. Yeah, you are right. What is the name of this square? C eight. Huh? C eight. Yeah. And if I say, what is uh, the name of this square and what color is it? F five square is light or dark? Badri, Vinay. Light. Light. E seven square is light or dark? Dark. Because you all can see the chessboard and uh, and. color you can observe right you can understand have you ever seen blind chess person how they play chess game kabhi dekha aap logo ne yes sir yes sir they play chess very smartly have organized their tournaments when unko observe kiya hai wo bhi bahut acha chess khelte hain they have no touch and move rule obviously ek touch and move rule hota hai uh, unke liye nahi hota lekin they can touch any piece so you know how they play because they understand they understand each and every square like this is h1 okay if they have queen here and if their opponent played this uh, any piece there on a8 
they will quickly and uh, uh, imagine it's in the game of imagination you can grab this if you have a queen here and your opponent make this move anything on a8 you can grab that piece if you know the squares if you recognize the squares and and the pattern like if you ask me you can try you can ask me anyone from any corner of the board any square name i will tell you the color of that square without looking at the chess board because i can also play like a blind uh, person it's called blindfold chess i want you to try adiru you should ask me any square name i'm going to close my eyes i want to tell you why chess is the game of brain because we don't have to be physically very involved yes you have to be physically fit but you don't have to it's the main mind game you can ask me from any corner of the board any square name you can b4. just ask e6 b4 ha huh? b4 b4 is a dark square am i right yes sir any yes, sir. any other square name sir g6 light square yes sir uh a7 dark square uh uh e8 light square pano uh, light uh uh f f7 f7 light square yes sir you are right anyone sir d4 dark square yes sir the uh, f6 dark square yes sir anyone sir b2 d2 dark square so i, I just uh, thought to have some fun I have some test uh you can also play but it takes time yes obviously uh thoda sa isme aapko jitna practice karoge utne aap better imagination kar sakte ho but you should you should know like if my piece is on h2 and my opponent suddenly move this to this like usne queen yahan rakh di e5 square pe okay you are not concentrating on the chess board maybe aap idhar udhar देख रहे थे बट योर माइंड कैन इजिली इमेजिन उसने कुछ रॉन्ग मूव किया है और आप ऑल ऑफ सडन आप क्विक ऑपरेंट का यू नो मिस्टेक ऑब्जर्व कर लेते हो और यू कैन ग्रैप दैट पीस दैट्स व्हाट चेस इफ योर ऑपरेंट इज मेकिंग मिस्टेक यू शुड बी ऑपरचुनिस्ट ओके यू सी दी ऑपरचुनिटी एंड जस्ट ग्रैप इट ऑपरेंट ने मिस्टेक करा ब्लंडर किया ओके एक होता है मिस्टेक और एक होता है ब्लंडर बिग मिस्टेक लेकिन अगर ओपनिंग ने कोई ब्लंडर करा फ्री में आपकी क्वीन दे रहा है वो और आप उसे ग्रैब नहीं करते दैट इज योर बिग मिस्टेक दैट मींस यू आर डूइंग आल्सो ब्लंडर एंड यू शुड नॉट डू दिस टू थिंग्स इफ यू अवॉइड मैं बच्चों को यही एडवाइस करता हूं कि दो चीजें आप गेम में कंट्रोल करोगे यू कैन बी अ ग्रैंड मास्टर व्हाट आर टू थिंग्स फर्स्ट थिंग इट्स वेरी कॉमन ओके फॉर न्यू प्लेयर्स दे मेक इलीगल मूव्स यू नो व्हाट इज इलीगल मूव so no. a move that is uh, not not legal which is not created in the rules of chess right right illegal move you should not and second thing you need to control that is blunder move don't do big mistake like why you do big mistake okay when you don't think for example this bishop is attacking my king and i'm not thinking in the right way i just move my queen here okay it's my big mistake i'm losing my queen and you know queen has how many points queen has 9 okay and bishop has 3 so if you are okay if you are losing your 9 points for 3 points it's your good exchange or bad exchange exchange means give something take something is it good exchange or bad exchange it's a bad one it's a bad one so you should avoid this kind of mistakes you can better block with the pawn because you know this is check if your opponent is attacking your king you have to save the check immediately and there are three ways to save the check these are the methods we can use to save the check we can move away we can block or we can capture and if you cannot save the check by using these three methods that means your game is over your king is checkmated got it 
these are the ways you can use to save the check and if you cannot use if you're not okay if no option to move your king to a safe square like you cannot move away your king and you cannot block the opponent attack on your king and if you cannot capture that attacking piece that means the game is over your king is checkmated you have to accept your defeat okay um n percent rule is a special move of pawn when pawn is on the fifth rank opponent has just moved the pawn two steps you can capture it in n percent way castling there are two types of castling castling short and castling long okay we need to write all the moves also we can learn in next class after you're joining uh, us for a school team uh, general rules for chess like white always move first touch and move rule i said when you touch a piece at the first time you'll have to move, move that piece only okay you need to note your game and your opponent game also take back is not allowed in chess once you make mistake or whatever wrong move you can't take back you cannot undo the move okay you have to only learn from your mistake chess is a time game i initially i said that there are three pawns and pawn promotion when pawn is at the last square it can be promoted to a queen all right so i have i think explained basic uh, general rules of chess basic chess concepts i shared with you i hope you like like that and i really enjoyed with you, you sorry very... sir uh, to interrupt you there are two questions in the youtube uh, some students want to ask sir should we focus more on over the board chess or online chess and uh, second question is they want you to update them about the upcoming chess tournaments uh, so that they can participate these are the questions which i feel... yes yes according to situation we humans adopt okay like uh, we don't have now offline option obviously other sports ki to hum baat kare to usme kuch nahi ho raha lekin chess mein abhi bhi bahut kuch ho raha hai you know about uh, um, national championship national uh, aicf all india chess federation is organizing online chess uh, online chess and, and national competition national championship means state championship abhi delhi state championship humne organize kiya online platform pe so situation ke according uh, we cannot uh, um, uh, organize offline events so we are organizing online events so you have to uh, adopt it and accept it accordingly according to time and situation to mujhe lagta hai ki offline bhi aapko karna chahiye practice aap aap online practice karte ho lekin agar aap jitni cheeze learn karte ho uske baad aapko ek game aapko khelna chahiye kisi friend ke sath family ke sath board pe obviously but अगर नहीं हो पाता है इट्स ओके यू कैन लर्न ऑन ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म दिस डेज जब ये सब कुछ खत्म हो जाएगा तो फिर आप नॉर्मल यू कैन बैक टू रूटीन यस स्कूल चैम्पियनशिप भी ऑफ आई थिंक बहुत सारे स्कूल्स भी इंटर स्कूल कॉम्पिटिशन ऑनलाइन प्लेटफॉर्म पे ऑर्गेनाइज कर रहे सो यू कैन टेक पार्ट यू कैन टेक पार्ट इन इंटर अकेडमी चेस कॉम्पिटिशन यू कैन टेक पार्ट इन मैनी ऑनलाइन चेस इवेंट्स कुछ इवेंट्स फ्री होते हैं फ्री ऑफ इन फ्री एंट्री होती है इनको उनमें आप ट्राई कर सकते हैं आप आप स्टेट कंपटीशन में ट्राई करना चाहते हैं अगर आपको लगता है आपकी अच्छी गेम स्टैंडर्ड है तो उसकी एंट्री फीस पे करके आप अपने स्टेट के लिए जैसे यूपी स्टेट ने कराया है बिहार स्टेट ने ऑनलाइन चेस चैम्पियनशिप कराई है उसमें वो प्लेयर्स को सेलेक्ट करके नेशनल में डायरेक्ट एंट्री वो पे करते ऑप्शन रहता है डायरेक्ट आपको नेशनल भी खेलने का बट थोड़ा सा उसकी एंट्री फीस ज़्यादा होती है You have options. कि आप ऑनलाइन चेस इवेंट्स खेल सकते हैं कुछ पेड होते हैं और कुछ फ्री होते हैं खेलना चाहिए मेरे अकॉर्डिंग आपको खेलना चाहिए क्योंकि ये गेम है जो अभी भी मतलब एक्टिव है बहुत टूर्नामेंट्स होते हैं और आपको इसमें इंगेज आप आप इंगेज कर रह सकते हो लाइक अदर स्पोर्ट्स खेलने से अच्छा है मैं मानता हूँ पबजी और वो कौन कौन सी गेम होती है वो सारी गेम से ये गेम बेस्ट है कि आप इसको खेलो और इसमें आप एक स्किल भी डेवलप होगा और आप अपने स्कूल कॉलेज यू नो आपको पता होना चाहिए कि जिन बच्चों के पास नेशनल सर्टिफिकेट्स होते हैं उनको कॉलेजेस में 
टेन परसेंट का वो एडमिशन के टाइम में स्पेशल उनको रिजर्वेशन भी मिल जाता है बहुत सारे मेरे फ्रेंड्स हैं जो लोग अब अच्छे कॉलेज में एडमिशन नहीं पा रहे थे उन्होंने स्पोर्ट्स कोटा में चेस का सर्टिफिकेट अप्लाई किया और उनका एडमिशन हो गया डी में और बड़े बड़े कॉलेज में जिनमें आसानी से नहीं होता एडमिशन कई लोगों को कुछ रिजर्वेशन में जॉब भी मिल जाती है अच्छे बी कैटेगरी एम सी कैटेगरी में आराम से जॉब मिल जाती है जो लोग अच्छे प्लेयर थे और उन्होंने नेशनल में अपने लिए यानी कि ज़्यादातर वैलिड है नेशनल सर्टिफिकेट ओके आपने अगर अपने स्कूल टीम में टॉप टू पोजीशन या कॉलेज टीम में आप यूनिवर्सिटीज कंपटीशन में टॉप टू या टॉप फोर में अगर आपकी टीम आई है या इंडिविजुअल टूर्नामेंट में आपने टॉप रैंक यू नो अचीव किया है तो उस सर्टिफिकेट के बिहाफ पे आपको बहुत सारे अपॉर्चुनिटीज मिल जाते हैं तो यानी एज ए करियर ऑप्शन भी आपके पास अपॉर्चुनिटी है Yes, sir. We had another question from Badri only. He is from class eleven. He wanted to ask the question. Yeah, Badri. Yes, sir. Sir, I wanted to ask, like, uh, should we play gambit in opening? And if yes, how should we play them? Same question you asked me. You know, before playing any opening, you should be first of all prepared. So, in habit of playing any opening, you can play. But before playing any gambit line, you know, gambit means. Yes, sir. So when we sacrifice a piece, so giving up a piece or pawn, okay, for free. Gambit word comes from gambling. Like we play gambit, so we think we play gambit. It's gone, it's gone. Kind of. तो अगर आपको गैमिट लाइन कौन सैक्रीफाइस जैसे डेनिस गैमिट बहुत पॉपुलर है मेरे स्कूल बहुत खेलते हैं डेनिस गैमिट किंग्स गैमिट ये सब ओपनिंग्स जो है क्विंस गैमिट ओके तो आपको एक बार इसकी लाइंस पता होनी चाहिए एंड यू कैन प्ले इफ यू यू आर दैट मच यू नो इंटरेस्टेड एंड इट्स योर इट्स योर स्टाइल ऑफ प्लेइंग हर किसी की स्टाइल होती है कुछ प्लेयर्स बहुत फास्ट कैलकुलेट कर लेते हैं इन फ्यू सेकेंड्स सम प्लेयर्स दे टेक टाइम लाइक आई एम टाइम टेकिंग प्लेयर I take some time to think and find the correct move, the best move. So it's up to your style. If you like gambit line, play it. So you can play it. But one time prepare it. Okay. 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 If you if you want to enhance and this is a sh- short short method to learn anything quickly, you need to write down your doubts about that thing. आप अपने एक diary maintain कर करोगे अगर तो उसमें आपने अपने doubts को उसमें लिखना चाहिए. Like I do also. Every time it's a new challenge. Like अभी मैं एक class ले रहा हूँ मेरे लिए एक new challenge है. I'm taking classes from 2011, but still it's a new challenge. Your ten 12 years experience है और मैं 10 years से active player चेस रह चुका हूँ तो अच्छा active player रह चुका हूँ still it's a new challenge तो every time आप with new challenges life में face करते हो और आपको prepared हो के उसे face करना चाहिए है ना sorry to interrupt Suman ma'am wants to ask a question please Suman ma'am yes yes sir uh, sir can you please tell us about two move uh, checkmate or win checkmate yeah You should you should know pool check. Yes, ma'am. Yes, this is very popular checkmate in under under eight or under twelve years because kids they are very impatient. They want to win the game quickly. They don't want to sit for long time. But chess, you know, develop patience in them. But in some cases, we have to win the game quickly. But in some cases, we have to win the game quickly. But in some cases, we have to win the game quickly. But in some cases, we have to win the game quickly. But in some cases, we have to win the game quickly. But in some cases, we have to win the game quickly. If your opponent is making this move, it's a big mistake. Like I said before, three things you need to do in opening: central control, yani ki king or queen pawn se start karni chahiye game. Then aapko knight and bishop develop karni chahiye, or castle karna chahiye. And you can look at this white player; he is not following the opening principle. Three things you should avoid in opening: like you should not move corner pawns. 
these are the corner pawns you should not play in opening second thing you should not do you should not take out your queen earlier up to opening the queen nahi nikalni chahiye generally we say because queen is a very powerful piece if it get attacked by your opponent piece you have to move around away again and again and third thing is you should not move a piece twice twice that means ek hi piece ko apne bar bar nahi chalna chahiye chess mein लेकिन जैसे हम बात करें फुल स्टेटमेंट की तो हम कैसे कर सकते हैं इस प्लेयर ने जैसे कुछ भी ऐसे रैंडम स्टार्ट कर दिया इट्स इट्स फर्स्ट मूव मूव एंड सेकंड ओके नाउ इट्स माय टर्न आई विल कंप्लीट द सेकंड मूव वी काउंट मूव वन बाय वन लाइक व्हाइट प्लेट ब्लैक कंप्लीट इट्स वन मूव ना व्हाइट प्लेट आई विल कम्प्लीट माई सेकेंड मूव सो आई कैन प्ले हियर माई क्वीन टू एच फोर बिकॉज एज आई सेट द्री वेज टू सेव चेक मूव अवे king cannot go away because king cannot sit on the head of the pawns king cannot sit on the head of the pieces because king is stuck pawn cannot move backward so white player cannot block the check and no one can capture my queen because pawn can only move straight it cannot capture in straight way so this pawn cannot capture my queen this player cannot block the check this player cannot block the check that means no option he has there are three ways He cannot move away. He cannot block the check. He cannot capture my piece. That means this player has to accept that the king is checkmated. The game is over. This is fool's mate. Thank you, sir. I want to show. It's very popular in under fourteen and school kids. This is called scholar's mate. Four moves they try to checkmate. I also used to play in my school days. Checkmate more often. Uh, players they take out their queen. I said it's not good idea, but you know. will work if your opponent is a new new player like your target is this pawn with the help of bishop and queen you are attacking here on f7 and this pawn is vulnerable it's only uh, protected by the king now what if your opponent uh, does this move how can you checkmate aditya you know can you tell how can white checkmate yes sir this is a very popular mate it's queen uh, f2 f7 and yes. yes sir queen yes so that that check this is also very popular bahut log try karte especially uh, new bachche chahte jaldi game jeetna and four moves ko check mein kai baar kar dete hain and uh, uh, not a short shot method aap aap opponent agar thoda sa bhi smart hai if he is good experienced player he can uh, block your queen's attack on this pawn and everything is fine for black you cannot checkmate him it's just waste of move you move your queen twice that means you are in back in development you have no time now you lose time to develop the other pieces so you wasted two moves that's why i advise do not take out your queen earlier don't take unnecessary chances but agar aapko seriously pata hai ki koi player bilkul new hai wo aise trap mein fail ho sakta hai to aap try kar sakte this is scholar's mate e4 e5 uh, some players they play bishop and then they play queen here and if their opponent make mistake they can make this it's checking yeah thank you anyone sir i think that does anyone have any other yeah, question although we have scarcity of time panav still you if you have any question you can ask yeah that's what i was asking i don't have any question does anyone else have any more question i think sir covered most of the things thank you so i think that's all the questions that we had so i just wanted to thank you sir for indulging all the questions and i hope we can continue learning from you in the future as well we are extremely grateful for uh, to you for taking the time out of your precious you. time to share your knowledge and insight on the game and on the subject through your experiences i am sure we will all benefit from this shared wisdom thank you thank you and i would like to thank uh, suman ma'am uh, um, tarun sir uh, and uh, alok sir and uh, all dear students it is really nice session with you 
um, I try my best to clear your doubts. So keep practicing, keep learning. My blessings to you. God bless you all. And uh, I would like to thank Principal Ma'am of Billa Vidyani Ketan School for giving me such an opportunity to um, get interaction with all of you. I'm really thankful.